Oh my god! It hurts so bad. Hey everybody, today's video is about the Viscaria Super ALC. Super! And I'm gonna be reviewing it in comparison to the regular Viscaria and to the Linyan Rue Super CLC. So I hope you enjoy the comparison and make sure you like and subscribe and share my content with your friends. I'm reviewing the Super ALC with my friend Ty and he uses the Viscaria normally and he's been using that for a few years. So he's gonna provide a lot of the commentary on the differences between regular and Super Viscaria. The rubbers that we used are Dignix 09C on the forehand and Tenergy 05 on the backhand. So, see you guys in the review and keep watching to the end. During the first half of this review, Ty is gonna be using the Super. With the Viscaria Super, the arc seems to be pretty flat and low. Since it's harder to curve the ball with the super, it's really easy to hit into the net or off the table um, when you're trying to brush the ball. The normal Viscaria is well known for its ease of play on the backhand. Something about the handle shape and the way that the ball feels crisp, it allows backhands to be done pretty easily. And I feel the same way with the Super ALC as well. Yeah, I think the way the ball flies is like more close to like when my powder. Yeah. Like your powder, the old one, the old Viscari, regular, like flies more curvy. It curves more. But then with the Super Z, it's like everything's really flat. I mean, that's what I feel about that one also. You can see that with the Viscaria Super, that the ball flies a lot flatter and lower to the net compared to with the regular Viscaria, and that makes it a little bit harder to loop underspin, as we'll see soon. Ah. When the ball flies with less of an arc, it's harder to land the ball on the table, as you can see here. The short pushes felt pretty good with the Viscaria Super. It's a little bit more crispy to the touch compared to with the normal Viscaria, but nothing crazy, pretty easy to control. In general, on spin shots like flips and loops, the ball is flying lower than I'm used to from Ty when he loops with Viscaria. Oh. When you flip it, it's like, yeah. the other one when you flip it, it's like, it does yeah. this. Oh my gosh! No arc. What arc? Because the ball travels in such a straight line, it's really easy for it to either hit the net or fly out. So now Ty is going to practice blocking with the Super ALC against my loops. Oh, what? No. Is it my backhand block, maybe? Oh, 
I think with that one, it's not like, it's not, it's not like, it's like, it's like short fits. Yeah, if your angle is set it off, it's Yeah, like this. If you don't like, if you don't like, adjust it just enough for the spin. Yeah, yeah, If you like close too much, and it's not enough spin, it just goes straight Yeah, yeah, yeah. In general, the blocking felt very solid and the ball goes back very directly. So now Ty is using just the normal Viscaria so we can compare and contrast. I felt that with the Viscaria, Ty had a lot more spin. <laughs> you can still get good spin with a Viscaria Super, you just have to really focus on spinning the ball a lot more than with a normal Viscaria. I think, yeah, when you're using this one, like when you looped it, I felt like it was less loopy. Less spinny? Less loopy. Exactly. It's like, you know how loops, I don't know, do you talk to me? Uh, loops sometimes look like, like that. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's 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 fast, but if you want to spin it, you have the option to. Like, it allows you to. But then with the Viscari Palma, it's like almost every ball has like a level of like security and spin without even trying. It just like naturally does it. I think for backhand, I noticed that there's a difference. Because, because, because you're always spinning. Like, yeah, for backhand, you're playing like more safe. and yeah. like, not going for as much power. Yeah. So it, it felt pretty similar to me also. The ball travels with a lot more clearance over the net with the normal Viscaria. Here, Ty is going to practice blocking with the regular Viscaria. Yeah, I think with your that one, I feel like it's going in more, and when you send it back out, it's like it's like pretty stable. With that one, it's like, like a sheet of glass. <laughs> Now it's my turn to get my hands on the Viscaria Super. I think it's actually pretty similar to yours. Oh really? I think so too. I think the... Now I'm going to show my paddle, the Lumen Lu Super, and see how it compares to the Viscaria Super. What I feel is, um, this one is like, more, 
like the contact time is less than that one. Less than the ALC? Yeah. In terms of the way it goes out, it's similar, but the feeling on my hand is this one is more like, and that one is a little bit closer. So that a little one's bit like longer. between? Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, between this. This one holds longer, really I guess. Long. This one doesn't hold shorter. That one's in the middle. Yeah. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I'm just gonna do a conclusion here to wrap up my thoughts about the Viscaria. Super! So I'm gonna talk about three categories. So the three things I'm gonna talk about are the feeling of the Viscaria Super, uh, the curvature and the trajectory of the arc, and who I think the Super ALC would be best suited for, and what type of play styles uh, would benefit from it. So in terms of feeling, I think the Viscaria Super and the normal Viscaria feel pretty similar uh, when you're just at the mid-distance range trying to loop. Uh, the feeling on the paddle is similar, except I think the Viscaria Super is a little bit more crisp versus the uh, regular Viscaria is a little bit more muted of a feeling. Um, definitely the Viscaria Super is harder and the Viscaria Normal is softer. Second, I think we were mentioning this throughout the review, but the Viscaria Super, the ball travels more in like a straight line versus the Viscaria Normal travels with more of a curved path. So when you're trying to unleash really strong shots with the normal Viscaria, I felt like I could hit harder and still have security that the ball would curve back onto the table. Versus with the Super, when you hit too hard, sometimes the ball goes flying out. So you have to learn how to tame the more direct flight path of the Viscaria Super. I think that my Lin Yun Ru Super ZLC that I play with is even more direct and more flat than the Viscaria Super, which I really like about it, but some other people may not appreciate that there's less margin for error. And the last thing is who I think that this paddle is suited for. I think players that want to hit more flat with loop drives and really crunch the ball on their top spins, this racket would be very useful for them. If you're trying to create lots of high arcs and high spins, kind of like the old uh, Timo Bowl style, this paddle may not be good for you because the ball flies in a more straight line. I found that this paddle was kind of like a balance between the Super ZLC Lin Yun Ru versus the normal Viscaria. It's got some of that crispiness that the Lin Yun Ru has, but it also has some dwell um, that the normal Viscaria has. It's somewhere in the middle between those two. So you can hit hard, but you also have plenty of feeling on the paddle. So I hope this review was helpful. See y'all in the next video.